In the last study of the day, we looked at memory enhancement, cognitive performance, and the benefits of resveratrol. Today, we jump into a study that looks at the burden of depression and how curcumin can be used to alleviate. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Ben, and thanks for checking out today's study of the day. This channel is for anyone who is searching for answers to their health questions, and for anyone who expects more from their medical care. In this segment, I break down interesting and relevant evidence-based medicine that highlight common causes to common conditions, and highlight ways that you can act preventatively to ensure that you reach your body's potential. If the mission of this channel resonates with you, Please take a moment and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, let's get into today's study of the day. All right, the study is called Efficacy of Curcumin and a Saffron Curcumin Combination for the Treatment of Major Depressive Disorder, a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study. Here it is. So before we get into the study, let's look at some background and let's bring up some statistics around depression. So, depression affects 6 to 8% of adults every year. There is a lifetime prevalency of 15 to 20%, very high. And the World Health Organization calls depression the leading cause of disability and the fourth leading contributor to the global burden of disease worldwide. Unfortunately, there is poor efficacy of standard treatment psychological and pharmacological treatments with 60 to 80 percent of people never achieving full remission. So where does this leave us? We need to get creative when we approach cases of depression um, and that's why the world of, of alternative and integrative medicine has come up with many different modalities to support the body um, in his treatment. Um, and like any condition, it's really important to look at depression as globally or has, as holistically as possible. And, and this study just highlights one physical treatment, one natural health product that has been found to show promising results um, in the treatment of depression. This was a 12-week randomized placebo-controlled trial with participants being broken into four groups. Placebo, low-dose curcumin, high-dose curcumin, and a combination of saffron and low-dose curcumin. All right, so let's look at the results of the study. They were pretty spectacular. Um, I think for the, the purposes of this review, I'll break the results into two categories. One, they looked at depression symptoms, and two, they looked at symptoms of anxiety. And I'll, I'll flash up the results here as we go through it. But the analysis of the response rates revealed that 13% of people in the placebo group um, showed a response, whereas 28% in the active treatments showed a response. So 28% in the high-dose curcumin, 27% in the low-dose curcumin, and 31% in the low-dose curcumin and saffron. So. 13% in the placebo versus 28 to 30% in the in the treatment with curcumin groups. Pretty pretty significant difference there. In addition to the depression symptoms resolution that they found with curcumin treatments, um, they also found that the curcumin treatments also decreased anxiety significantly. All right, so these results add to the growing body of evidence that support the use of curcumin for both depression and anxiety. Um, it's important to keep in mind that the doses used here were 250 milligrams and 500 milligrams uh, two times per day. Um, so when you're, when you're looking to talk to a healthcare practitioner about how you can use curcumin to support anxiety or depression, keep those doses in mind. The differences, again, in response rate were, were alarming. 13% of placebo group responded, 28 to 30% of the treatment group responded. And the response rate was determined by a greater than 50% decrease in depression symptoms. All right, so as you can see, 
this study is, is showing the efficacy of, of curcumin for the treatment of both depression and anxiety. This is the fourth clinical trial now, placebo-controlled, randomized trial to show the benefits of curcumin in the treatment of depression and anxiety. So there's a lot of good evidence backing the use of this natural health product. Um, the good news is if you do decide to incorporate um, curcumin into your lifestyle, there are many other benefits that come along with its use. It's been found to control inflammation in arthritis patients. It controls and lowers IBD symptoms, so patients with Crohn's and colitis, it's, it's really, really helpful for. It's been found to lower blood sugar in diabetics. It's been found to lower cholesterol. Um, so instead of looking at a, a statin, potentially you could look at curcumin as a way of, of regulating your, your lipid profile. It's been found to help with chronic pain and it's been found to, to kill cancer cells. So many, many, a myriad of different benefits that can come along with the incorporation of curcumin, not just in the regulation of mood. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's study of the day, everyone. Um, comments or questions, please leave them below. If you haven't subscribed, take a moment to do so. We'd love to have you a part of, of the community and you can stay up to date with these studies of the day. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.